Okay. Sounds like you're on the moon. Okay, let me drop that. I can restart it. Boing. Boing. And there's arc. Oh no. We're gonna add. Again, say that. Hello. Okay. Hi there. How are you? Pretty good. What's happening, Leroy? Uh, nothing. Nothing much has changed from last week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm. Obvious, obviously, I'm here, so nothing bad happened either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. Um, the only thing that's really changed, uh, we're, we're watching Thea right now. We've had her for the past week. So, yeah, this is the result of the car accident? A lot of things that I just can't get go into but oh yeah I, I that's don't part I, of it yes i don't want to poke good <laughs> keep your yap shut that's what, art, <laughs> that's what art says what keep your yap shut <laughs> keep your yap shut <laughs> yeah unless somebody asks. oh, oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah we're we're gonna have her for a little while but so the yap is uh that's an animal in the uh well, welcome to use the voice. Who, who was that? What was that? That was the voice recognizer. Oh, <laughs> I plugged it in, <laughs> and it said, "Sure, I'll, I'll talk as loud as first time for everything. Let's let's talk as loud as it possibly could." <laughs> so, uh, uh, does it actually record the various voice identities? Um, so you can train 10 new words into it. And yes, it, that's what it's doing. But it's only for one voice. Yes. Okay. But I, I don't know. We're going to try that today because it's 150 or so words that it, that it was pre-programmed with seem like uh, it's generic enough that anybody's voice should activate it. So now you got 150 built-in words. Right. Then how many can you add? Uh, 10. 10 at a time. 10 at a time. Okay. Oh, t 10 total. But 10 total. It, that's, that's the one thing I don't like about how, how you have to program it is when you put it into program mode, it's all 10. It fills up all 10 and there's no way to, to tell it to put it in word 27 or word whatever it okay it's linear it goes you know from whatever that is uh seven up to uh 17 or something so now can you expand that memory at all not that i am aware of there's no way to slip a SD in there. From... There is. Uh, pretty sure that there is a flash chip. Pretty sure that's what this is. But, you know, it's soldered on, and I think it has the uh, the words built in. Ah, Okay. And my camera, my okay. camera is working. Okay, dope. Yes, my camera is boobard. I'm gonna have to restart my phone. So, um, how much is this thing? Uh, it was under twenty. I'm sure it was under twenty. Oh, I want okay. to say it was seventeen. So it's well within the Leroy budget. <laughs> or is that $5 these days? 
yeah, I, I mean, when I saw it at the price, I, I didn't really think too much about the price. I mean, it seemed like a decent enough price to me. So where'd um, you get it? Where'd you get it? Uh, pretty sure I got this one off of AliExpress, but it's a DF robot. Okay. DF robot makes it. Um, I think I only bought it from AliExpress because I didn't want to set up a new account. Oh, okay. Because DF Robot sells on their, you know, their own stuff on their website, and they sell on AliExpress. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're. I'm pretty sure that I bought it on AliExpress because I, it is made by DF Robot. Yeah, I actually. So the chip that it uses is a DF two three zero one QG. And I can you see who makes it? I don't know. Hang on. Let's see if we can look up that chip number. Okay. Um, EF. What did I say? Two three zero one Q G. Wow. Of course. That sounds like a pretty handy little device for a lot of... Um... Of course, it, it comes right back to the DF robot wiki. Okay. <laughs> my, my biggest... I mean, there's a couple of of like like everything else from from China, you know. There's some quirks to it, like oh, yeah. like the learning the the, the words. Mm -hmm. You have to program all ten of them, or you know, you you can exit out. Like I only need five extra words or six extra words, so you, you can tell it to exit by by saying exit learning. But when you go back to, to program it again, if you need to add the four more words to it, you have to start over right from the beginning, oh. which makes no sense to me. Okay, well, it's inconvenient, certainly. <laughs> but, I mean, the, the, real, the real big, big issue is why they chose some of the words they chose. I mean... Seriously, retreat. Okay. Um, turn left 45 degrees instead of just turn left or turn right. <laughs> okay. And why, and why isn't there just a plain ordinary stop command, but there's stop playback or, you know, <laughs> there's just, it, it's just, so that's the list of the words. Yeah, yeah. I'll put a, I'll put a link to that. Um, I, it's just like I said last week, I or maybe the week before. It, it's just odd some of the words that they chose and why they chose them. You know, there's a lot of fan control. Okay, that's great, but. Why am I controlling a fan with my voice? <laughs> you know? Um, and you, you say the wake up word, which is hello, robot. Hello, robot. There, I, there I waited too long, so it didn't take it. But you would think that if you're saying that wake up word, you would have a whole lot of commands 
to control a robot. And there's not many, there's not many commands to do that. Um, it's just, it's weird. It's just weird to me. Um, uh, I, so, I don't, I don't know if they were thinking of different use cases than I think of, or I, I just don't know. I don't know if some of the words didn't translate well to English. I, I just, I just don't know. So a word or a phrase links to what one of the GPIOs or what? No, what is it? it's so if you look at that, that document. Yeah. Um, the list of words. The list of words. Yeah. So if I were to say the wake up word and then play music. Okay. It would send the number 92 to, well, I'm, I'm using it over I2C right now. So it would, it would flag the I2C bus that there's a message. Um, if I was using the UR, it would just, you know, put 92 on the serial bus for you. Okay. Um, but that's pretty much all it does. It, it, whatever. So if I say tag recognition, it will send down 41. Or so, I then say, you, so then you take this device. Do I? And, and connect it to a Arduino? Yeah, and I then, have it. I have it connected to the ESP32, but okay. to the M5 stick C. Yeah, and um, this this really is it's. I'm using ESP now to send it off to the robot, which is over here. Um, but all it all it's really doing is reading the I2C bus, taking. Mm -hmm the number and sending the number to the robot yeah, all the I know you're there I don't know why you thought I said something um okay. but, Got it. but all the number all the the robot does all the real work it figures out if the number's useful to it or not so the robot receives a number and then the robot has in its control system um, a program that recognizes that number and reacts accordingly. Yes, 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 yes. Um, okay. But but the the speech recognizer, um, you know, it's got a little microchip on it itself, so it recognizes something like you know, hello robot, which is the default wake up word. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it doesn't need a mic, it, you know, basically if I just had power going to this, it would recognize that, that wake up word. Okay. Uh, it recognizes uh, the volume commands. It does the volume itself. So if I tell it lower volume or higher volume, or raise volume or whatever, however it's phrased. Um, it doesn't send it. Well, it does send those commands down to the Arduino, but it doesn't, it, it'll do it itself. It'll just raise the, raise the volume. Okay. Um, and there's a couple other ones that it ac actually recognizes the words as something for it to do instead of something for something else to do. So it acts on it locally rather than passing it along the control chain. Yep. So there is a way. This program, does this program do it? Let's see. So there is a way. So if I wanted to use volume controls for, for music or something, I could set it to mute its output so you'd never hear it 
acknowledge that that it hurt a command or anything. Okay. Um. But but from my from the way I understand what it's doing, even though the volume is muted or the output is muted, if you tell it to set the volume, to raise the volume or lower the volume, it's still going to do that. And then it's going to send the command down down the chain. Okay. And then you then your Arduino or your ESP32 can figure out what to do with that number. Oh. Ah. So it's back and down. I uh for the most part. For the most part, this thing works really, really well. There's just weird quirks about it, like like almost every device you get from China. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Once once you get past the weird little quirks, it seems to be fine. I mean. <laughs> Felt like I'm falling through the floor. Just what is that? Cupcakes. What oh, kind of cupcakes. cupcakes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. So, that. so I, so I have a virtual cupcake this week. Okay. You, you can't, you can't have a virtual cupcake. Hmm. These smell like they were freshly made. They were freshly made. So, uh, oh, yeah. Leroy is volunteering to be the taster. The guinea pig. I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> I don't like. We didn't have to twist his arm or no. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to go up and rinse my hands. We we have a sandwich on the way down there. It's it's pretty relieving. Ooh, that sounds like a good sandwich. <laughs> That's the kind of sandwiches I can deal with. So what are they? Are they vanilla or uh, or white cake or? I'm not real sure. Well, they're not chocolate. They're not chocolate. There's some chocolate in there. The chocolate you no, but, but the cake itself is not chocolate. No, doesn't look like it. You figure Leroy survived though. long enough. You're going to try one, uh, Jim? I thought, thought maybe carrot, but I'm not tasting carrot. I don't know what this is. Carrot is usually kind of orangey. Doesn't look like it has anything inside of it. It's a nice fluffy sponge. Oh, okay. I don't really know what what that. So what happened to Mike? He had to wash his hands. Oh, okay. I've... He's not very smart. He wouldn't leave us in there with all his food, you know. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, be sure to say something for uh, Steve and Vicente.
Thea might come in here and get one. Oh, is she here today? Yep. I text I just texted Patty to let her know that there were cupcakes. So there are Tootsie Rolls in there too, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry there I mentioned that. Few things in there. Hmm. Well, there's some Hershey kisses. I know Theo will come for the Hershey kiss. My kitties. So is she over in the children's section there or what? Uh her and Patty are sitting up in the uh little recreation the cafe thing. The vending uh, machine thing. Oh Steve. Tell you. <laughs> it's just too low in here. It's too high. <laughs> it's like, it's, I got up and looked at him so far as go. And he, you said, I wonder what the height mine is now. <laughs> and, and that's, that's just hilarious. <laughs> Nobody can find the right height chair. <laughs> I, I want my feet flat. I, uh, this this one was was here, and I just pushed it out of the way for this one because it was the right height. <laughs> I took your advice. It's Bluetooth now instead of uh -uh. cool, and it was working at the house. <laughs> I'm not guaranteed. <laughs> I'm not going to guarantee anything here. <laughs> come come come. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no there's Whatever Hershey kisses there's napkins <laughs> there's there's two Hershey kisses and there's icing and the cupcakes are really good too and I see Tootsie Rolls also yeah I don't think she'll eat the Tootsie Rolls I know she'll you're, eat the Hershey kiss <laughs> panda not in the <laughs> Panda butt, panda butt icing. Yeah. Do you, you want? Do you want one that's got a lot of icing? Because I know you like the icing. Okay. Huh? Just try it. You'll like it. And do you want the Hershey kisses? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> what do you, do you say? Like no, tell him. <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> oh, well, you're welcome too, but tell him. <laughs> He's the one that, that supplied the, the goodies today. <laughs> oh, that's a sweet little girl. She's a good girl most of the time. <laughs> Five. Oh, wow! It's a teeny tiny little fan. I thought I that's what that was. Did it? The fan was extra, right? Or did it come with? The yeah, fan? I think it was seven dollars. But yeah, you gotta kind of gotta have it. So <clears throat> I'm impressed by that thing at home. My office, I've got a ceiling fan at low. That fan never turns on watching Netflix full screen. Wow. Um, YouTube, it hums right along. <laughs> YouTube is pretty rough on that thing. So what are the little ribbon connectors for? Um, the two down by the HDMI, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are for cameras or displays or camera and display. And the one on the end toward me is a single lane or three lane PCI port. Oh, okay. I can see it now. Um, so you can get an adapter for it. And I hope more things become available. Sure. 
so you can actually the show art, art use probably hasn't seen like it. NVMe drives on it easily. Yeah, that's a honking heat sink there. It isn't really that big. I mean, compared to my Pi 4 heat sinks. That Yeah, actually the fairly impressive the, the boards the same size the boards are identical sized but this has ethernet on this side usb3 usb2 they're reversed on that they sure are back to the pi 3 does mm -hmm. way of doing things cool. wow what a fan <laughs> it's pretty quiet. Um, it spins up when it first turns on. It, all all this stuff is accidentally falling into my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I can find that heat sink for this thing. Yeah, it's getting a new case. Because for what I'll use it for, I don't need that fan. I just need heat sink. Jim. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, what the Pi password is. Well, wow. that that is a Raspberry Pi four, and this one's the three. Heavy duty. Eh? That's significant. Armor light. Oh. Well, yeah. Then that. Uh, oh. So this is the five. This is the five. The the uh, the, the one not in a case is the five. The one in the box is the five. <laughs> the two in black are fours, and the silver one is a three. On the five, how much RAM do you have? Uh, I get four gigs because I've never seemed to need more than that. I That just is a sweet spot for me. It seems like I am sorely lacking in Raspberry Pis now. Really? <laughs> I have three boxes like this of pies. I used to have them at customer sites. Yeah. I've got a lot of, got quite a few twos, but I've got a lot of threes, mm -hmm. three beans. Um, didn't really get into the four. I think I've got three fours. I absolutely love this case. And the Pi 4 in this is absolutely rock solid. Yeah. I have had amazing luck. Um, I, I set them to have a, a read only file system on the SD card, and they go for years. I've got one at a customer location right now that creates a tunnel back to me that has got three years uptime on it. I mean, it's in a rack that's got a, a UPS, so it just keeps going and going. Yeah, I, I don't know. My interest in the Raspberry Pis kind of went and then kind of fell. Yeah. As a remote access thing, they're perfect. Yeah. I uh, got... I think I think the one of the Pi fours I've got it's running uh, Nextcloud. Oh, really? A Nextcloud server. That's handy. Yeah, the four would or the five would do that very well. I think. Um, I'm. So what what did the five end up costing? With the power supply, and the the heat sink, it was seventy two. I think I don't know, but it is a the new power supply is pretty impressive. A lot more square edge than I expected from them, but that's the oopsies <laughs> by case. That's the same one with four. Hmm? No, that's, no, the four is much lower power. This is what oh, I, this actually has twelve volts on it too. Yeah, 
Fifth, fifth, and 15th roll. Going quick, I'll help. This is the power supply. I'll chip some chip in. And 15, yeah. Yeah, and I don't. That's not an official Pi power supply. That's from somebody else. Yeah. But I just like that it had a power switch in mine. So it is only five volts. Yeah. I can't remember what my Raspberry Pi or I thought it was 3.5. Three and a half amp? Yeah. Could be. Yeah, I think the official one is, but that one was always sufficient. I don't attach extra storage beyond usually a, a little USB to micro SD adapter. But this is this is interesting though. You've got your 5.1 volt at 5 amp. You've got your 12 volt at 2.25 amp. You got your 9 volt at 3 amp and your 15 volt at 1.8 amp. I don't think that, it's that's... multiple voltages out. I think it can be, it's a variable voltage. It queries the thing that it's attached to. Okay. And delivers whatever voltage the thing attached to it requests. Asks for. It starts out supplying 5 volts. That's enough to power up the receiving circuitry and that communicates back and says hey if you got 12 available send it or whatever and so the so power would... supply on this thing can use higher voltages you can hook a standard cd power supply to it that's that's interesting and the so, other... so the the pi 5 is getting more higher in computery than yeah. anything else that they've made. And it also has a power button. Oh, sold me. And <laughs> it's got a super cap on board and a real time clock. Yeah. It'll go about a month on the, the cap. See, I, I that's that's another thing that people buy real time clocks. Mm -hmm. and I've never about. I've never found the need for it because Oh, you could always work. You could always connect it to the network and grab the time from the time server. Yep. Yeah. This thing gets the time within 20 seconds, at least on my network. Yeah, I've I mean this, you know, the, the stick C's, they have a real time clock in them. Mm -hmm. And I always grab the time from the time server. I, I don't I don't know why I need a real time clock. Now, if I wasn't connected to the internet, it might be handy. Yeah. Since it's since it's like three lines of code, it's like why not? Why not? Yeah. This one was the first one that I put in a customer location, and I just realized it's missing a screw. But they got in it and played with it. That one I had at a church to help them with sound issues. And it was amusing because I couldn't hear a thing. No. <laughs> Peppermint cupcakes? Uh, no, it's cupcake. Isn't it? What would you know? Cupcake. The yellow cake? No, the, it, it's a lightsaber. Yeah. I actually. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what like saving them. I actually <laughs> learn things like them and crunch crunch too much. It, it, it's some sort of sponge cake. It it's really good. It doesn't really. I don't really think it has much of a actual flavor. <laughs> it's a sponge. This sponge take the box down <laughs> and open it up. Get out that. Get out that. Get out that. <laughs> <laughs> Cook, cook, cook. Oh, yeah. It's such a task. <laughs> I had a boss at one point who was just angry that his wife was not a good cook. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. There's, there's 
kind of a lot to it. He says, crap. No, there isn't. It's just RTFM. No, it's not. There's a lot more to it than that. Mm -hmm. These are um, not even up to the RTFM. <laughs> These are uh -huh. pictogram. Yeah. I pa Patty always says she can't cook. And my response is almost always read the directions <clears throat> on the package. Because <laughs> they will tell you how to cook whatever it is you're wanting to cook. <laughs> Well, I may have told you folks this before. When my wife was in grade school, they, her parents moved. And the grade school she was in was just about to start learning fractions. And the grade school that she went to had already finished fractions. So whenever anybody asked her, do you know fractions? She would go, yeah. <laughs> But she didn't ever know fractions. And the only way I discovered this is that she was making a recipe and she needed to double it. So she made the entire recipe once and then started over <laughs> and made it entirely again. And I was just dumbfounded. And I said, well, why can you do that? I, you know, I'm, I'm a math major. I can teach you fractions. And she said, I'm 46 years old. I haven't needed them ever. <laughs> I've been married to you for five years and you didn't know them. You know them. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, I don't have to know them fractions. When she started back to nursing school, that didn't fly. <laughs> well, got to know a little bit of fractions. <laughs> yeah. And it's like... Uh, I'm sure as a grade schooler, learning fractions would have been a long, arduous process. But like in three days, she goes, eh, yeah, fractions. <laughs> I, the, the oldest and the middle kid, to get them to understand math, I told them to think of it as money. If it's money, they understood money like oh yeah, <laughs> like that. And so I, you know, you want to multiply, you want to divide, you want to do any of any of that, think of it as whatever the number is as a dollar. And <laughs> oh yeah, I know what that is. That's like a quarter. Yeah, that's pretty much what that is. <laughs> I didn't do particularly well with fractions. But I did get the, they were unfinished division problems. Yeah. So I could divide that easy. You, you got a little icing in your man on the board. I think I, I, I never really liked fractions at all. Even though I enjoyed math, I fractions just drove me nuts. But pretty much like Steve, I, they were just unfinished divisions, and I never really even thought about them. <laughs> I recognized common fractions, you know, fairly fairly quickly, but the uncommon ones, yeah, two hundred nineteen over. 415. Uh, it's like, it's about half. <laughs> it's like, why do I need to? Where did that ever come from? <laughs> why do I need it? I, I do remember as a kid when I was helping my dad with working on cars and stuff, fractions came out because he needed the next size up from a 9 16th. So that's obviously a 10 sixteenths. And there isn't one, so five eighths. Okay. So that part makes sense. Though I did want to relabel all of his branches to 10 sixteenths and stuff. And then, then we got into the 
the no, she, ignition wrenches and stuff that were in 30 seconds and 64 is like, oh, yeah. that's too much work. <laughs> yeah. Well, all of my tools go from smallest to largest. And I don't give a shit how you label them. Mm -hmm. If it's the size that fits, that's the one. That's it. And so I have put color coding on. And so everything that is um, 10 millimeters is red. And that's the lost socket. <laughs> and so I can, I can look in there and say, that's, that's, what I need. that's the one I need. And if I'm working on the car, I've got them all on a little bar. And I just take the bar out and say, no, eh, uh, eh, yep. Yeah. That gets ten, frustrating. 10, 10 millimeter and 11 millimeter are the two I always lose. Those are the oh, two yeah. I need. A uh, 10 millimeter is half inch. No? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, that's closer to 12. <laughs> okay. They're, they're, they're the two that I would use the most and the two that I can't find. <laughs> and then the Crown Vic, the, for whatever dumb reason, it, it probably wasn't Ford, it probably was the cops, but the rear, the rear tail light, when you have to go and change one of the bulbs, mm -hmm. there's three screws, three, three nuts. And two, different sizes. Two of them are 11 millimeter and one of them is a 10. Go figure that. That is unusual. Well, mm -hmm. and the internal threads may all be the same on all three of them. It's just whatever somebody picked up. I think they were supposed to be 11s, but mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's probably somebody that they're probably were all just laying there next to each other and they look close enough. Yeah, or <laughs> I am my, my the other, the white crown bit, instead of having actual nuts on it, somebody had put wing nuts on it, which made it super easy because you could just do that with your hand. <laughs> So, so the cops mess with that stuff, or the maintenance department messes with that stuff. They they don't care. And they follow a rough rule. If it doesn't fit, force it. Well, whatever it's makes it fast enough for them to change it without without getting a tool out, probably. <laughs> um, now we talked about Russian tractor factory assembly. Are you familiar with that technique? When the Soviets had uh, control of the economy, the tractor factory was falling behind on production. And they determined that they could speed things up and get more product out the door by using a, a hammer <laughs> and just driving the head bolts in. So occasionally we would have Russian tractor factory <laughs> production at our house. I could see that. It ain't if it don't fit, beat it with a hammer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was kind of waiting to see if by Sunday would show up. Well, he asked for these last time he was here. He, he did. <laughs> I like to see this. So the, uh, the code to turn this into a BLE mm -hmm. keyboard instead of a USB keyboard mm -hmm. was basically changing three lines of code. <laughs> Different library, but Basically, you change three lines of code. <laughs> now, when you say BLE, tell me what that is. Bluetooth. Bluetooth okay. low injury. It's low injury. <laughs> it's the low injury Bluetooth. It doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> Seems to work pretty well. How long does the battery last? I don't know. Um, I charged it. I brought, I put it on this battery. Um, 
today because I was coming down here. Mm -hmm. I had been plugging, still plugging it into the to, to give it power. Wired Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth. It needs power. <laughs> but if this works, this this is probably mm -hmm. throw that in the bag and, and go. Oh, I have a question for you guys. We have an answer, but but the right ones are going to cost you. Well, I wouldn't know whether it's right or wrong. <laughs> um, we promise or we, we promise an answer. We, we don't well, always promise the right one. The micro SD card in this phone, I was able to format and load. It is a half a gig. But it's unstable. Now, do you suppose that's because it's a cheap SD card, micro SD card? I'm going to guess you mean a half terabyte and 500 gig? Because you haven't been able to buy a half gig SD card for a very long time. Uh, well, it's a micro SD, and I bought it like six months ago, and I don't remember that long. Okay. I, I, would, I would guess it's a... 512 gig card. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm i very weary of large micro SD cards. Biggest thing I've, I've bought is 64 gigs. Um, above that, it takes me too long to back it up to make it worthwhile. I've got, I've got a 512 in my Switch. Mm -hmm. That is the absolute largest SD card that I've got. Um, that's, that's big. Hmm. I filled up the 32 gig in a matter of downloading two games. So 512 was... Really? Yeah. Never get on games. Hmm. Um, uh, it's a sand... I'm pretty sure it's a sand disk. Mm -hmm. So it's a name brand, but it also doesn't get access often. Yeah. So. Yeah. 500 gig. Half terabyte. Now, how do you, how do you know it's unstable? While we were out West on our own trip, I was using the phone is my camera because it's got a very high resolution camera in it and from day to day the photographs would be there or they wouldn't that's unstable i was going to say if you take like five pictures in a row i can see it, the camera becoming unstable because it can't write those into the sd card quick enough but yeah, if they're not still enough. Yeah, like that you particular phone does bursts. So mm -hmm. it like 10 photos a second. And in the bright sunlight, I ended up with a huge number of photographs of my foot. <laughs> you may want to check the specs on the phone. Like my phone, I know I can put a 500 gig card in it. And it kind of will work. But Motorola says that it, this particular phone is only good up to 64 gigs. Okay. Um, I mean... Yeah. Well, I had the card out. Mo in, Motorola 200... It, Motorola supplied the, the card. It's 256 gig. Mm -hmm. But that... Yeah, you that's the, phone. That's the biggest it'll take. It can't do anything else. Yeah. You know, I, I had the micro SD card out in, in a, a carrier and was loading music on it from one of my computers. Mm -hmm. And even in that application, it was unstable. You would go through and load the file folders, but not fill any of the contents in. What? Windows? Is, Sorry. I've heard that, that seems like an odd size to me. Oh, they just round it. It's 512. 
Yeah, but it should say something like five eleven point something or maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I, that try, just, try a smaller car. That just seems like I an mean, odd size to me. Yeah. What I was attempting to do before we went out west is we were going we were good. I knew we were going to be going about a month on the road is I wanted to load and use this as our music player. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanted to load all of the music I had on the machine on it so we would have the ability to go. So I didn't want to choose a card that would not allow me to take photographs in addition to have the music. So that's the reason I chose the larger card. Yeah. If I, you know, if I only wanted to listen to three songs, I'm, I'm sure I can find a smaller, more stable okay, card. Okay, hold on a sec. I have a 64 gig card in here <laughs> that I just checked. I'm using, uh, I think, 20 gigs of it. I have 150 days of audio. Okay. I mean, if you start playing right now, Come back in six months. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and it, it, it'll have finished the play or be close to finishing the playlist. So you're thinking that this is a bad card. Uh, I'm, I would question that card and that phone. But if you also have the same issue with it in a PC, yeah. then it's, yeah, it's it, recover your pictures off of it. Start fresh. Re recover what you can and yeah. uh, start. There are no pictures to recover. Okay. Uh, I everything from Crater Lake that was taken on this are gone. Most most new phones, you know, you can plug a, a external hard drive in to and use like a regular SSD drive okay. off of them. Mm -hmm. um, and that might that might actually be all okay for your music anyway. It's going to be too slow probably for your for your for the pictures. But um, mm, really, USB-C OTG. I don't know. I I've never done it with a cam with the camera. I've done it with the music. It works just fine with the yeah. music. Well, all of my external uh, hard drives have the. Uh, different connection. Of course, I do. And those are definitely going to be too slow because it will clock the bus down. Yeah, you can get an adapter to to go to. Uh, you it's, know, it's called on the go. OTG. On the go. They they actually make drives that will plug into the USB C. I'm not a planner and can't run out. Uh, seven thousand mile road trip grant again for a while. No, but they they do actually. They, they look like flash drives. They'll just plug right in. Okay, and you can get a if you really need a five twelve. You can get a five twelve s s d uh, or flash flash drive. They'll plug right into that. Okay, is there your brand? On the micro SD card, is there a particular brand name that you found to be better than others? I am very happy with SanDisk, and the SanDisk Extremes seem to be very stable. They're they're U2 and U3, which is a speed classification. Um, I Samsung makes pretty good cards. But if I were going for a card for that, so I can't recommend you go to Best Buy, but for 13 bucks, I don't know, that's UHS one. No, oh, that's it. okay. <clears throat> Hundred and twenty-eight gigs. That'll make sure you get around any issues with the phone can't deal with a bigger card. And that's again 13 bucks. Okay. Um, that, that's a Samsung phone. It it should it shouldn't have too much of a problem. 
But you but it, you probably got a bad ST card. It, it probably may wouldn't. have issues with slow cards. Slow cards, yeah. And yes. the bigger the card is, the, the slower it is, is to yep. be. Now, because they got press um, the really wanted to an update her phone, so I was able to get her one just like this. And she had no problems whatsoever. And in fact, all of the uh, photographs from our trip, 1,400 of them, were fine on her phone and we downloaded and we didn't lose anything. It sounds like you, you bought a bad SD bad. card. You know, I was more worried about losing all the data when she leaned over the rail, <laughs> <laughs> holding the phone with losing, her gloves. Losing her as she leans over the rail. <laughs> well, there was a, a woman out in um, Bryce Canyon who's sitting on the wooden rail with her feet over and back on the second of uh, Rung, mm -hmm. and there's nothing between Bet me in. I, I see you. What happened? I, think it's I blew up. up. <laughs> I was being bad, of course. But I guess that thing is. I was piecing out <laughs> down to my stuff, doing videos <laughs> on my All remote right. PC. I'm surprised it doesn't blow up every week. All right. I know you're probably going to have a hard time seeing this, Art, but it's okay. Look there. Look. There is the icon for the journal app. And if this works right, hey. the journal app actually opened. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, hey. uh, you must have smelled the cupcake. <laughs> yeah, you asked for it. You got it. You asked. Mike delivered. Cool. Mike delivered. Hey. I got the camera. Which will open yeah. cheese. All of them. Some of them. Cheese. I know you. It's hard to see from your end, but but it's seeing me. It's seeing you. <laughs> um, and then if we hold the button down again, we get the finger touch. So I'll turn on and off finger touch, and there will be a little thing up in the corner that says finger touch. Enabled, and now it should say finger touch disabled. Nothing changed. Yeah, it's up in the corner, up in the right hand there, corner. The little window up here just popped up. If you there mm -hmm. now it says finger touch enabled, and we'll hit it again. It should say finger touch disabled, and we'll hold it. And we got Gmail. Is it Bluetooth or yeah, Bluetooth. And now it's opened my web browser for Gmail. So if somebody actually asking a question or somewhere. Yeah, it it wants to know if I want to open the other tabs because you, I didn't think that through well enough. Your text size is like a 256th of an inch. Can you read that? That's perfect. It's, yeah, it's it's, it's readable. I, I have to take my glasses off to read it, actually. Yeah. Well, that doesn't work for me anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It works, it works just fine for me. <laughs> the older I get, the nearer my nearsightedness gets. When I hold this again, I get... Three, it went from being able to look at things... For whatever else, reason, I decided to put another no finger touch. Across the room. So yeah. if I hit this one, it'll turn the finger touch on again and off again. Be because I wasn't thinking about having two of them. And then there's the print screen. Oh, yeah. I can read that clearly. And then there's the print screen. So I hit the button, and it took a picture of the, the screen. I hit the button again, and I'll take another picture. And again. And then that, I don't want to turn that on. That screen recording now will actually record the the whole entire well, screen. Is it because you have touched this thing. Yes. And then the calculator. There's the calculator icon. And I hit that button and the calculator pops up. And I hit it again and another calculator pops up. And we're and then I hold it down again and we're back to the journal. 
and I hit it and it opens another journal. So Bluetooth worked no problem. Nice. Why yeah. nice. Now, um, pardon my ignorance here, but the display is that giving you some feedback or you, you is it the Apple S S three S three. So if if you this icon is for the journal app that's okay. on there. So if you hold it, you get okay a camera icon, or that I'm using that as no finger touch or finger touch. All right. Is don't you Gmail. Can, uh, hold now Again. you can get swipe left and right to work. Mm -hmm. uh, think a uh, 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 second no touch. Yeah, I don't right. know why I decided that. And I said, oh, there, you know, I'm print screen. Mm -hmm. It's a printer, so print screen. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the that's the shit. Give me some credit. <laughs> That's 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 I, I, I may be ignorant a lot of things, but but an icon of a printer, I, I kind of figured out had something to do with printing. <laughs> I'm just messing. <laughs> oh, that you know that's the share icon. Yes. So that that actually will turn on screen recording because I couldn't find a good icon for okay. screen recording. And then of course the calculator. Algebraic or RP and it doesn't matter. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Whatever. And then you hold it again and it comes back to journal. So if you just single click it, it'll open. What's next? Oh. So if I Every single click it, pop? it'll open it. <clears throat> they connect us the same and it's all and they, uh, this is the power button for oh. It's basically, it was a battery. No, that's a thing that you buy for it. That, that actually has a. Uh, I think it was seven dollars. Function to it, so I could turn but it. But it comes off. with a little, the the real informal heat sink pads on it. Oh, wow! And now, if I don't need to use the button, I could just turn it off. Or yes, if I wanted to use the button, I turn it back on. For two more monitors, wait for it to connect. Mm -hmm. There it is. So when you were talking about pushing the button, and the, uh, it didn't know it. Well, it, it must have been something. Anything you want to do about uh, fast, I, I tried to do this last week, only it was connected it a turn with a wire to the, real time to the thing, and it was not working. <laughs> so <laughs> Steve, Steve had said, why don't you just do it over yes. Bluetooth? And I'm like, I hate Bluetooth. Tap, That's why I don't use Bluetooth. It, Pops up so, and you want to shut down. If you tap it a second um, time, it shuts down. So you can I, without. I don't, the, I don't like Bluetooth, screen, but just it works. So it yeah. worked for this um, just, for this purpose, and it worked 55. pretty well. So, the heat sink. No, there's seven. Another seven for the heat sink. Seven, seven. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for it. Uh, I'm back again. And <laughs> this time they can see you. I knew you were this end. You couldn't survive without it. It's, it's not me that you're seeing. It's PCI you know, So that's how I encourage him to get to use my cup. The only reason I get in is to pick for him. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be disconnected forever. Right? And it is surprisingly quick. And how I'll speak. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it uses one core of the four and about 100% to play um, Netflix full screen. Wow. And I remember trying to get Netflix to run on. I opened three a bunch of stuff and never could. And a four, it was. There's the calculator. Pretty. Mm -hmm. It was a heck of a load to get Netflix to run on a four. That has the a load. Power. How? Um, I mean, seven watt. And there's power supply. Mm -hmm. There's cheese. 
You're you're familiar with keys. No, that, that's that was, that's what when when it opens when I you hit the camera everything button. For all three, I think it was seventy two dollars. Well, I got it. I ordered it early from Chicago Electric, just because well, I've dealt with them a lot. The, the power performance, nice. Looks like an Apple Pro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that isn't USB C on both ends and just the, the USB. Board. But that's a that's a I regular change the, the power of the, of the yeah but that's that's seconds. a that's a regular uh, USB PD power supply yeah. power delivery. Intel Microprose needs to be updated. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so I just had to do that. Can go up um, uh, to fifteen volts. One point eight amps. I can type the fast one. Oh, sorry, it's a total. Okay, I don't care. I'm going to do that again. That's pretty good. Heat sink like this one. Yeah, that's good. It's it's good. Good. It's good. It's good. In the box, nice thing. Mm -hmm. This is the box for the, the five volts. Change. This, this is a four. Oh, this is a but they are they are the same physical size. Physical. Yeah. Well, the case isn't the same. They rearranged the. Maybe you need to make some holes in this. Well, the order for the ports is different again. Is it, uh, mm -hmm. They completely changed it. Yeah. Yeah, but you need you need some slots here to move the. Uh... No, I don't think so. No? This is this has little pillars in it that it, that's a heat sink on the the in processor. The, 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 the processor. Yep. Yeah, I love that case. Yeah, that's from. Mm -hmm. heat. Box geek something. I don't know. And this is another version of this case. Or at least a similar case. Mostly heat, heat sinks. He's also a four. Yes. Yeah, I got a pile of fours. Hmm. What well, one two three point oh? The new one? Three three point oh? Yes. Uh, yeah, it was so. three dot one, I believe. Oh, I'm not sure. It it sounds like the Raspberry Pi Five is the way to go, though, if you're going to do anything remotely serious. Um, it's a serious contender for a desktop for me. And I've got a That's... friend in Chicago who's blind, and he's looking at getting a new machine with a Braille display. And he's already got the Braille display. Braille displays are four grand for a used one. How how are those displays? Um, his is a eighty column single row with eight pins per position to, to fill the. Mm -hmm. Um, but I know that I can run it off of a USB to serial adapter. Mm -hmm. So I'm really considering getting him a, a Pi 5. It'll outrun anything he does. He still uses Alpine for email, um, which I got to give him kudos for that. But yeah, it'll... He's, he, he's got to have more text than... Mm -hmm. Graphics, anyways. So now we can run Windows. Yeah. Now, don't no, uh, please, please, please. <laughs> Probably. I mean, there's the there Windows with no GUI. That'll probably run on there. Um, I mean, they ran on the on the Pi Four. I tried. Install Windows with no GUI and never 
could get it to work great. And I hate PowerShell. Windows make it? Yep, absolutely. You're welcome to use the voice. Hello, robot. Yes, I can. Volume down. Okay, volume decreased. Volume up. Okay, volume increased. Go forward. Done. Turn hey. right. Okay, got it. Where is the speaker at? Stop. Okay. Speaker is a slow, tiny okay. uh, black box. Um, speed up. Done. Go forward. Done. Left. Doing it. Go forward. Done. Speed up. Doing it. Speed up. That didn't just turn okay. right. That Got turned it. like 270 degrees. I don't have any degree marks on it. It's just whenever I tell it to stop. So it's just sit there and spin in, in a circle. Oh, no. um, hey, hello, robot. Yes, I'm here. Left. Done. So it, it would actually just sit there and spin left. For Done. Stop. Done. Back up. Back up. You meant to slap it again. Go, go backwards? Must be female. Did I forget <laughs> what my... I forgot what my backup word is. Oh. <laughs> I think you're turning that. Hello, robot. Yes. I'm here. What's speed up. Done. Any speaker or training training for your voice? Uh we're we're gonna try that. We're gonna see. Mike, say Done. something. <laughs> say something. Robot. It it the blue light's on, so it's ready. Oh, okay. Turn left. Doing it. Okay. Rotate. Not in the vocabulary. <laughs> Stop. Doing it. So, how big is the vocabulary? Well, there's 150 words you just said in it, but but it's really the robot's only really looking for uh, left, right. Off now. Yes, yes, yes. Left, right, go forward. Interesting that it's picked up the Stop. left and then turned off. That is kind of interesting, isn't it? Uh, left, left, right, go forward, stop, and reverse. Maybe it's reverse. Hello, robot. How can I help? Reverse. Go backward. Back up. Done. There we go. <laughs> stop. So what worked? Go backward? Back up. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Your first acknowledge yeah. before is it you? Do what? You 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 acknowledge the order and then execute. Um because there is a delay, you say stop, you say acknowledge and then stop. The idea, the idea is it. to stop and then say acknowledge. It because you have a delay. After each order, yeah, but you don't need it. Yeah, it, there, there's, there's a little bit of a, a pause in there, and off now. Um, and that's that's why this is an experiment. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not great, but it works. Of, if this were a critical piece of equipment, oh shit, should be shut down. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there there should be like dozens of different words to get it to do. Stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm on you. Don't worry. Um. <laughs> right now. 
I I also limited its speed because I didn't want it to go yes too yeah. fast yeah. Yeah. because I knew there was a delay. Yeah. So well I, I'm I'm it's interesting. I'm reminded of my nephew who worked with two dogs till he got them up to where they recognized and understood. I think he said 72 words. Mm -hmm. And so he could just very calmly say, wait. Better than my kid. <laughs> uh, were we supposed to, were we early today? Was it 6.30 today? What? Uh, Is there a crowd know. outside? <laughs> Let me check. That's my point. I... I I, at yeah, I think I think we're uh, I think we're supposed to be oh, okay. bar music. Okay, we're getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, we uh, forgot that one. I I I I think. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to shut them down. So there's a crowd outside. All right. Well, that's that's how I realized what was going on. So uh, we're virtual next week, correct? Yes. yes. We're virtual next week. See you later. Well, yeah. is next week Thanksgiving? Yes. Uh oh, yes, it is. Then we're not here next week at all. Okay. All right. We'll we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> Thanks, Art. <laughs> See you later. Take care. <laughs>